Chris Jones. And so, so the moment when this became a different kind of story, what was what was that moment, and, and what was going on? Well, I think you know I was having a great time sitting there, actually tears rolling down my face at the beauty of this music, and. And I was thinking, oh, this is nice. This is about, we must be not too far off in the mission now. There's going to be about another hour, hour and a half to go. And then it all, it just ended. And then um, everybody got off the stage. And I thought, well, this is ridiculous. It's only been 55, 58 minutes. And then there were these um, cries of encore. And there were these enthusiastic cries, encore, encore. And then nobody came out. And then sort of a few heads popped out, waved, and went back. When did the and audience get it? And then all of a sudden, the tone of the f the, the, the way you, you can you, the, the tone of the way people were shouting encore drastically changed. So you went from encore in that you know give me more sort of way to this encore like, like how dare you get off the stage that quickly? So it was quite a yeah. And th then I thought, wow. And then I went around the lawn. It wasn't even dark. It wasn't dark at Ravinia, and the show was over. So I thought, well, I better wander around and talk to people. And I found some disgruntled uh, people out there, as you can imagine. It, it, the reader response has been uh, this enormous, this enormous. I what mean, have we've had? We've had, uh, we've had, uh, you know, upwards of 150 comments on online, uh, and I'm getting about an email every five seconds. I think that what it does for people, I think there's a lot of people who feel, um, you know, that you know America's becoming a little too stratified. That you, everything you go to, there's a there's a special premium thing for the well-to-do and I think people feel a bit the regular schlub on the lawn is feeling like you know they're the core audience for these venues and I think nobody um, you know nobody resents Ravinia having a benefit but I think that people you know it's a good lesson for them I think and you've got to always be sure that you're taking care of the regular the regular Joe I mean I, I heard from an elementary school teacher who'd taken his six-year-old kid now, on some levels, you might say a short Sondheim concert is not a great crisis. The world goes on turning. You know, um, that's true. But, you know, somebody showed up there with his kid to the first their first grown-up concert, and it's disappointing, and people remember that. And I think the arts venues always have to remember that you've got to take care of the real people.